Good morning. I'm Nat Roars. We apologize. We break into your regular programming to let you know about a fire that's burning right now in Casey. The worldwide recycle plant on Foreman Street in Casey is on fire. Large plumes of smoke can be seen coming from the area from as far away as downtown Columbia. Our Nate Stewart is live at the plant. He joins us now with the very latest. Nate, what do people need to know this afternoon? Well, guys, I'm sure if you've been out on the roads anywhere in Columbia today, you've seen the smoke. Take a look at this. This is the best shot you will see of the Casey fire going on right now. We've been given special permission by the Southeastern Concrete Company to come into their facilities. They are kind of butted up next to this recycling plant. We got a ride in a truck from uh, one of the managers here. He brought us into his facilities and is letting us shoot this video for you now. We're, uh, we're seeing these pictures as you're seeing them. There are two fire trucks to our right and to our left that are spraying water down on this fire. We've got Casey Fire out here, West Columbia Fire out here. I believe I saw a Columbia Fire Truck out here. They have the 12th Street extension over here to our right blocked off, stopping traffic. So if you're coming through here, you'll definitely see the large plumes of smoke up in the air. They've, they've trying to keep people off the bridge from being, from spectating and, and, and looking onto this. Also, there have been concerns of explosions. There have been a couple since we've been here this morning. This fire has been raging for about an hour and a half. This is uh, truly incredible, Matt. We've been we've been getting right up close to it. I can actually feel the heat coming off of the flames right now. It's very hot where I'm standing. We are in a safe location. However, it is very, very hot. As far as health concerns, there is a lot of smoke going up in the air. And Nat, I know we were talking about before we, we, we went on air, what kind of concerns those could be. I know it is a recycle plant here. It's a plastic recycling plant. So uh, we don't know specifically what kind of dangers there are at this moment. But again, they are police uh, officials are shutting down Foreman Street coming up to this plant here. Nat? Uh, is there any danger of this spreading and do they have it pretty well contained at this point? You know, Nat, I'm seeing it just like you are. We've got two fire trucks. If you look over to our left over here, there is a fire truck right there with on the top of the ladder. It looks like they're trying to contain from two different sides of the building. One fire truck on the left side of the building spraying down off the ladder. And if you look, pan over to our right, there is another fire truck in there. It looks like they're trying to attack this fire from both sides of the building. Okay, and we know that this fire started with a pallet inside the building. Do we know anything about injuries? Nat, there is no word just yet on injuries. It's been somewhat difficult, as you can imagine, to speak with fire officials from West Columbia dealing with this. We're out here on scene, though. We will try to get that information back to you guys as soon as we can. Okay, and, and again, just back to the health risk. Like you said, you know, you're at a safe distance. You can feel the heat. Um, you know, you can smell the smoke. We've warned people uh, that today ozone, uh, the ozone levels are at, an, you're at an elevated risk of danger just from the ozone levels, and you mix smoke into that. Uh, really, we should probably remind people just to uh, keep an eye on the elderly, on children, try to stay as far, as far away from the situation as possible. Right, Nate? Yeah, absolutely, Matt. And you know, driving in, drive, coming over here earlier this morning, you can see the smoke from up in the air. I've had a number of people text me asking me what's going on. You should definitely avoid this situation at this moment. It doesn't seem dangerous. However, officials are blocking off certain roads, so you may not want to get caught in some of that traffic or in case these winds shift and blow some of this smoke uh, or fire into these trees or into the roadway, you definitely want to stay away from 12th Street Extension, Foreman Street, and think street at this time. Okay, well, Nate, we really appreciate the report. And of course, we'll be back on at noon with more on this situation. Uh, stay safe out there. All right, Nat, thanks so much. And of course, we will continue following this breaking news. We'll bring you the latest online on our website at WLTX.com. We'll be tweeting, Facebooking. Uh, again, like I said, we'll have another report when you join us today at noon. Hopefully, we'll get some more information at that time. And we do have a photo gallery posted for you now on our website at WLTX.com. These are photos that we've gotten from the scene, video that we've obtained from the scene, uh, pictures and video that you, the viewers, have sent us. Uh, so again, the latest information, go to WLTX.com. We now return you to your regularly scheduled programming.